How's it going guys? It is me Chris here and today I would like to welcome you to my very first Verizon iPhone 4 case review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a case from the company by the name of iChair and if you'd like more information regarding the iChair cases for the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, be sure to check out their website at goiChair.com. I'll leave a link below in the description. Um, but before I start the review, I'd like to apologize to you all uh, for this review's incredibly long wait. Every time that I wanted to sit down and make the review, more ideas popped into my head with different tests and environments I could use this case in. But before I even do that, I just want to let you guys know that if you're interested in any other iPhone 4 cases, I've unboxed many of them and I have quite a few reviews coming to my channel shortly. So of course, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are interested. So the initial tests that I did for this case were the essential things that I would do for any case of my in my daily life. I would carry it around in my pocket to see how much dust it collected after a certain amount of time, how much attention it would get in a crowd, and uh, you know, really just the baseline testing. The amazing thing about this case though is the fact that there is a built-in stand which allowed me to test the case in many different ways. So I'm going to get to those a little bit later on in the review when I go into the functionality section. Um, but until then, let's just start out with the extras included in the box. So enjoy guys. Now although I did an unboxing of this case a while back, I'm still going to kind of go through the extras that are included in case you missed it. So in the box, all you have is this plastic tray that slides out. Of course you have the original slider case itself. And on top of that you're going to get quite a few extras, which I'm very happy about. So in addition to the case itself, some of these extras include this separate backing piece, which can be interchanged with the black one to add a little bit of variety to your case. Now, on top of that, you're also going to receive this smaller package of goodies, but still very cool. So, you have two screen shields as well as a squeegee to help apply them, and on top of that, you also have a microfiber. So, I think it's very nice of iChair to include these things, and it's definitely a plus for this case. So, guys, as far as the design of the case goes, iChair describes this as being a hybrid case made from a rubber coated polycarbonate exterior and a TPU interior. Now for my own test with this case, I have found it to be very comfortable in the hand and overall design of it to be very elegant. The negatives that I can see in this case though are more trade-offs than anything. Because of the stand in the back, the iPhone becomes almost double the original size when the case is put on, but for me, I still find the case very useful because I do enjoy the stand and it still is able to fit my pocket very easily. Now the other kind of trade-off that you may have is the there is a lay on the table design which I do really appreciate um, but of course there can be some dust that can collect within the screen area every itself. couple days. But of course a quick As for me guys I really do enjoy the design of this case we'll take that of right course away. there are some trade-offs but to do that. of course that's with every case. So great case and uh, great design too so let's move on to the next section. So as far as the functionality for this case goes, it is worth noting that the ports are completely accessible and is very easy to turn the device on and off, use the mute switch, and control the volume. Also, it can be docked using the normal Apple 30-pin dock connector, but it cannot be docked in many third-party docking stations. However, because of the slider case design, it is, e it is very easy to remove the case when you want to use it, a dock. Um, also, I have noticed that it is very easy to get it the case in and out of the pocket and uh, it's with the matte finish it doesn't allow much dust to stick to the outside of the case. Now um, of course it is a little bulky as I said uh, but it's not a huge drawback as long as you don't personally mind it and it still feels great in the hand. Now with the functionality of the case's stand itself I found it to be very durable. The whole reason why this review has been delayed, or one of the reasons I should say, is because I wanted to test the case out when going on a very long bus ride. While on this bus for a full 20 hours, not once did the phone fall over while I was propped up on the tray table to view movies, listen to music, or just look at different things on the web or something like that. As you can see here, the stand simply folds out and it can be put in either portrait mode or landscape mode, and even when swiping through applications or music, it will stay standing up. When you're done using the stand, simply fold it up and it stays tightly into the back of the case itself. Now I've heard rumors that sometimes the case, or the stand rather, will fall out of the back of the case and uh, won't stay in there, but I haven't really had any problems with that. Now the only downside I can think of for this stand is the fact that it doesn't have multiple viewing levels. 
However, having more locking places in the stand would likely cause it to be less durable, which is also a trade-off. So, um, from what I've noticed, the viewing angle is perfect for the average person, and it works out very well. So I think it's actually a good thing that they left it the way it is. So, that's it for functionality, guys. Alright guys, so this is just an extra section that I wanted to add to this particular review. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I kept finding more and more tests that I could do for this case, and since I told you guys a while ago that I would give you guys the best case reviews possible, I'm going to go through several of the tests right now. First off, I went on a long bus trip like I said earlier, which took a full 20 hours both ways, and the iChair case was very useful when I wanted to watch movies, play games, and check up on emails and Twitter. Another situation where the case worked out very well was when I attended PAX East 2011 and wanted to shoot some video with the iPhone, um, preferably with myself playing the games, but of course I didn't have a tripod and I went by myself. Uh, with this case though, uh, with this case I should say, um, the iChair case, I was able to sit it, set it down on a table with the front facing camera pointed up towards me and it acted as a tripod and I was able to film myself playing an assortment of video games and it was very handy. Then of course I had to go through several several other situation uh, situational environments where I thought the uh, case would be useful. Just some of these environments included my desk both at home and at school for using flashcards and all the other studying tools, um, cooking with several on-screen instructions or if I had to look something up while I was cooking or something like that it could work, browsing the web and watching YouTube videos while eating breakfast or lunch or something like that um, it was always very handy. And then of course the most important test of all Yes, the toilet test. Yay! This particular environment I found the case to be most useful in, and um, I'm still using it for this pretty much daily, so it's a good thing. For those of you who need your iPhone 4 to stand out at all times, you may be slightly disappointed with the fact that there are only two different variations in the iChair case. With my tests, the case isn't uh, noticeable unless I really want it to be. And by that I mean people don't really uh, think much of the case when the stand is folded in or if I'm just talking on the phone somewhere in public. But if I'm sitting in a coffee shop on my laptop and I have the iChair case propped up beside me, I almost always have somebody ask what type of case it is. Now like I said, there are two different variations to the case. Uh, both have two black pieces depending on which one you order. You, you receive either a separate white or blue top slider and you can choose that um, on the website. Now the only other small difference that the uh, two different versions have is the iChair logo on the back of the case itself is accented, is accented in either white or blue depending on which color you choose. So besides that guys, that's really the only uh, bit of color and variation you will get with this case. But again, I don't think it's a big deal and it shouldn't draw you away from buying this case. So guys, the iChair case is going to run you $34 directly from the iChair website with free shipping and handling. Now, it's not available in retail stores or really any other place on the internet, but to me that kind of adds to the coolness factor when people ask where you get it. Now, it's also not a bad price at all considering all the things you uh, get with the case. Compared to something like the Spec Candy Shell case, this seems like it has a much better bang for the buck considering you get all the screen shields, squeegees and microfibers so very great case guys and a good price point too so in conclusion guys i would have to say that this case is absolutely fantastic not only does it offer great protection for your iphone 4 it also provides a unique stand to prop up your phone as well like i noted the only possible negatives for this case are the are that the dust collects on the screen of the iphone the stand doesn't have multiple viewing angles and it is quite hefty as the, the case itself i should say and of course there isn't much variety but uh the reason i say these are possible negatives are that they only apply to some people's preferences i personally love the case and right now it's my go-to case for the verizon iphone 4. i've recommended this to I've recommended it to many of my friends, so I will uh, also recommend it to you. For anything that I may have missed in this review, please be sure to check out iChair's website at goichair.com. Um, but of course, because I like this case so much, I may actually have to go out and buy myself another one so I can uh, give one away for one of you guys to try and to keep one for my own use. So stay tuned to the channel for that, but uh, anyways guys, I would like to thank you very much for watching this long video, and if you have any questions for upcoming, or 
any suggestions for upcoming reviews or any comments or suggestions regarding the style of this video, please let me know. Anyways, guys, thanks again, and uh, please be sure to check out my channel and, and subscribe for upcoming reviews. But until next time, take care.